Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yo Yo Man with Barnsley. In today's episode, we will be facing Leeds United and Nottingham Forest in the Sky Bear Championship. But of course, we've got some fixtures to review since the last time we met. So in the last episode, you did see our first two games. The Fulham game you didn't see live, but we drew 1-1 and then we fell to a defeat to Sheffield Wednesday. We then played in the League Cup first round and bounced back and won 4-1. Bruno Costa, Wilkes and Rian Brewster with the goals. We missed a late penalty after Nicky Maynard had gave Mansfield a way back into the game. But we held on for the, well, no, we didn't get three points to the next round. We then returned to league action and got our first win of the season. An absolute thrashing at home against Charlton. Jordan Ibe doing exactly what I was hoping he was going to do and dominate this league. And he got himself a hat-trick in today's game. And Rian Brewster as well got himself a goal to get us the three points. Back-to-back -back wins in the league. I didn't even know what to do with myself. Jake clark Salter with their own goal in the 23rd minute. Corley Woodrow and Ben Williams getting the three goals for us. They got a late consolation goal in the 85th minute, but we didn't care. We then had a disappointing 2-2 draw against newly promoted Luton. Corley Woodrow had put us a 2-1 up in front after Luton had took the lead. And then they scored in the 95th minute to equalise and ruined my day. Next up was a League Cup game, this time against Leeds, who will be playing a deer, and they did dominate the game and ended up coming out winners on penalty shootout. It was a nil-nil. No, neither side really created any too many clear-cut opportunities, but uh, penalty shootout, we missed our first, and that was that. And finally, away from home against Wigan Athletic, we fell to under defeat in the league. Um, we went in front through Malik Wilkes in the third minute, but they equalised just before half-time and then scored not long after. Um, and we couldn't break them down. So I'm relatively pleased with how the league form is going so far. We currently sit in 12th position. 8 points after 6 games. 2 wins, 2 draws, 2 defeats. Pretty standard what you were expecting for a, a squad of our quality. We obviously haven't pulled clear away from relegation by any means. Charlton are sitting in 22nd on 5 points after 6 games. So we could quite easily be dragged back into this after these 2 games. We play Leeds who sit in 4th and Forest who sit in 15th. So let's get to the first match, see how we get on against Leeds. So this is how we're going to line up against Leeds today. Radlinger will start in goal. Jordan Williams comes in for Kavaria at the right back spot as Kavaria is a little struggling a little bit after some international duties. DRB Anderson in the centre back rolls with Penilios coming in for Williams at left back again, struggling after the internationals. Alex Mowat, McGeehan, Wilkes, Costa, Ibe, Corley Woodrow, standard attack. Let's get into the game. So Leeds are going to fight fire with fire, come with a very, very attack and 4-2-4 formation. We'll have to keep an eye on the likes of Nketiah. He's a decent uh, Arsenal striker on loan at Leeds. And Costa, I think, is their key player on that left-hand side. Will obviously cause us some problems. I'm not expecting anything from this game. Uh, Leeds have a much better side than we do. But if we can at least be competitive, maybe get a point, that will be ideal. It's took to the 11th minute to get our first highlight of the game. It's Leeds on the attack with Hilda Costa on this left-hand side. The ball's whipped in. Anderson can clear. Can we pick up this ball? We can. Corley Woodrow brings it down nicely. And Mord finds Wilkes overlapping on that right-hand side. He's got a lot of work to do, though. He goes for goal. Decent save by Kiko Casilla. And Leeds might United manage to survive. The highlight continues, though. Jordan Ibe goes for goal. Another good save by Casilla. We have started absolutely fantastically. We'll stick with this. Uh, the corner, Bruno Costa to play it in. It falls to Corley Woodrow. He had so much time and space. If he gets that on target, it's going in. Look at their match stats. Absolutely fantastic. If only you won games on match stats, we'll be top of the league. The first half sort of ticking away now. Neither side creating too many opportunities. 41st minute now for our next highlight. It's Williams on the right-hand side. Finds Wilkes in the box who tries to find I at the back post. It falls to Alex Mort. And he gets his first goal of the season. Beaten Kika Casilla. From about 25 yards. Absolutely fantastic strike. I think it's on his weaker foot as well. We'll see it again in the replay. It's Williams to Wilkes. He plays the ball in here. Ives can't get his head on it. But it falls to Moat. And he takes a strike. Because see, he gets his hand. We probably should keep that out really. If you think about it. But a fantastic strike to put us 1-0 up just before half time. Another highlight now. It's Leeds on the attack with a free kick. It's a poor free kick though. And Radlinger claims it quite easily. Big ball over the top falls to Leeds. And unless we pinch this ball, which we do in the middle of midfield, Corley Woodrow does his man, drives forward, finds Jordan Ive in the box, and that finish is absolutely awful. 
And that's it for half time. Barnsley won Leeds nil. A very, very good first half for us. The Leeds are one of the best sides in the league. Um without a shadow of a doubt. And the fact that we are taking them taking the game to them really, they are, are not in this game whatsoever. Going by the match stats at the very least. Um we'll kick off for the second half though. No changes required from our end, and we'll see how we get on. Corley Woodrow heads on and Jordan Ibes in behind. He goes for goal. Was that a highlight really? Helder Costa brings the ball down for Leeds in the 55th minute. He drives down this left-hand side. We highlighted him at the beginning of the game as a potential problem. It comes out to Aileen to Harrison in the box. Phillips goes for goal. And, and was that wide or did we save it? I, I don't care. Another highlight now. Corner for Leeds this time. Split. Oh my God. That is absolutely pathetic. Liam Cooper with his second goal of the season. Assist by Jack Harrison. I want to say this again in the replay. Our keeper should be taking control of this in the six-yard box. He comes for it. And he's just stood there. Absolutely dreadful, dreadful stuff. Cooper's completely unmarked. And our defence has really, really let us down there. Leeds do not deserve that goal. But they get it anyway. As another highlight though. Jordan Ibe driving in the box. Please score. Oh, he hits the base of the post and it goes out. Bruno Costa to take the resultant corner. It's cleared by Leeds. And that's probably going to be it, to be honest with you. With only 20 minutes remaining in the match, we have another highlight. And we're thinking about substitutions right now. Um, we'll look to see who's performing worse or struggling out there in terms of fitness. But the highlight continues. Leeds getting very fortunate in the defensive area as they retain possession. But we do end up winning it on the halfway line as the ball's played forward. It's headed down. Ibe. Can we keep possession? We can't. We give it away. And it's probably going to be Leeds. No, it's not. Somebody take control. <laughs> Anderson switches the play beautifully to Wilkes on this right-hand side. He brings it down. Great. Beats two men. Gets the ball in the box. Corley Woodrow's there. He's had two opportunities at that. Two bites at the cherry. And that's, that tells me all I need to know. Jordan Ibe's having a dreadful game out there. We're going to take him off. Uh, we'll bring on Beachor in behind the striker. Remove Bruno Costa on that left-hand side. And we're going to bring on Rayan Brewster for Corley Woodrow up front to see if he can do anything uh, with 20 minutes remaining. Highlight now, Leeds with a free kick. It's played in back post, Radlinger with a decent stop there. Bruno Costa switches the play beautifully to Wilkes on the right-hand side. Another good save by Kiko Casilla. We are, again, we're banging on the door, but we're just not breaking it down. Highlight now, Leeds pick up the ball in the centre of midfield, go all the way back to the keeper, and we'll see where this goes. They try to switch the play to the right-hand side and Bruno Costa gets in and pinches the ball. But, I mean, like, please no. Please no. Don't lose the game like this. Absolutely dreadful stuff. Eddie Nicotia, however you say his name, I've got... I don't know. Um, who is it? It's not Penelos. It is Anderson. Just absolutely dreadful first touch. Eddie nicks in. And Radlinger gets his hand to it but can't keep it out and leads undeservedly, might I add. Go 2 1 up. 10 minutes remain, and can we get ourselves back into this game? Ryan Brewster receives the ball on the left hand side. He's got no support, so it's going to have to be all on his own. He does two men. He hits the post. Just feel like this game is absolutely screwing me right now in this match. We've hit the woodwork a number of times now, and we've had some really, really good opportunities, just not being able to take them. Jordan Williams can come off at right back, Cavares can come on at right back to take his place. And another highlight, maybe. Oh, the ball falls. Oh, my God. Please say that's in. Not offside. It came off a Leeds United defender. And Malik Wilkes has got his fourth goal of the season. We've equalised completely deservedly. 2-2. Pinelos pinches the ball in the set um, at the halfway line. And he absolutely drives that ball in. It ends up somehow falling to Wilkes after a challenge from the Leeds defender. And 88 minutes in, we equalise. I want a winner. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. We said we'd take a point at the beginning of the game. I still feel like we deserve three, but 2-2, two, two, we will take it. Against one of the best sides in the league, we have showed that we can perform with the big boys. Next up is Nottingham Forest away from home, 15th in the league. Let's see how we get on against them. Should be closer to our level. So we're at the next game against uh, Nottingham Forest. Not really many changes to talk about. One thing to talk about, though, is Alex Mowat. He wants to leave the club. <laughs> He wanted a new contract. It's about 16k a week he wants, which we can't offer, pure and simple. Um, and unfortunately, he might have to be someone we look to move on in the January period because he's only got two years left on his deal. In January, it'll be down to 18 months. Swansea are currently interested. He's valued at 7.25 million. If we were to get 15 million for this boy, we could potentially really revamp our squad. 
and lay the foundations for a promotion chance and maybe the season after and then again for the Premier League should we end up making it but that's discussions for the future the lineup changes very little Cavaria comes back in Ben Williams comes back in as our full backs as they are both now fully fit and other than that that's going to be our starting lineup let's get into the game Nottingham Forest are matching our formation toe for toe Lewis Graben, one of the best strikers in the championship unfortunately for us uh, they've got some obviously they've got a better side than us I would say based on uh, the player quality they have but I think due to our system and our tactic we're able to cause some teams some problems one change I didn't actually mention was uh, Rian Brewster is going to start up top as Corley Woodrow has picked up a four week injury which means Brewster is going to get a lot more game time than I was initially hoping for but let's get to the game Nottingham Forest kick off how are First highlight of the game, about six minutes in. It's also in possession in the midfield, and Rian Brewster's in behind. Go on, my son. Oh, just wide. What a save that is by the Forest goalkeeper. Brewster, almost shown that he probably should be starting ahead of Woodrow. Bruno Costa with a corner. Jordan Ibe can't get to it, and that's going to be that. Another highlight now, Forrest playing the ball in. We managed to get a clear, but only as far as Lolly Carl Jenkinson. That's where he is, and he gets the goal. I mean, the assist. Rafa Mir. Getting his fourth goal of the season for Forrest. Carl Jenkinson with a great little cross there. Um, you know, we started this game really brightly 10 minutes in. Going by the match stats. I know match stats don't mean anything. It's all about the scoreline. But they were a good indication as to how the uh, passage of play has gone. And we'll fall behind once again. McGeehan picks up the ball in the midfield 10 minutes in. Rian Brewster on the edge. Jordan Ibe's in behind. And Jordan Ibe gets his fifth goal of the season. Equalising two minutes after Nottingham Forest have taken the lead. An assist for Rian Brewster. The two combine. And I'm hoping to see more of that over the next few weeks. McGeehan does well here. Fine and Costa. Brewster plays in a little through ball. It's beautifully done for Jordan Ibe. And that's a simple finish. 1-1. One, one. 18 minutes in. It's a corner for Nottingham Forest. The ball's played in. We have really struggled for set, uh, against set pieces so far, but we get a clear and Rian Brewster can bring it away. Robinson challenges and there's no counter-attack. There is another highlight though with uh, Forrest once again. Jenkinson coming into the box. A great cross again for Mayer at the back post. We're going to have to be really, really careful about that. So we've changed our opposition instructions. Closing down Carl Jenkinson a bit more and uh, Mark and Rafa Mayer a bit tighter. So we'll see if that ends up nullifying their threat. It seems to be the Mayer combo that's causing us concern. But the first half's just ticking away now, and almost over 47 minutes, and now we are half time. Forest won, Barnsley won. Um, I would take a draw away from home against Forest. They're a decent side in this league, and we are not. First highlight of the second half, 10 minutes into it. And it's going to be Jordan I bringing the ball down the left hand side. Finds Rian Bruce. He's in the box. Rian. What? Where's the finishing, mate? I was promised some clinical finisher, but it wasn't a bay there for us. A good opportunity goes squandered. And our Nottingham Forest going to make us pair with Thiago Silva. Playing it to Robinson. Playing it to Sow on the inside. Mayer again. Ugh, does his man. Completely does him. We managed to get the block in. But Robinson wins the ball back. Don't give a penalty. Radlinger saves. The highlight continues. Jordan and I bring in, uh, bringing the ball down. And is that a penalty? Or is that that's a sending off? Nottingham Forest have found themselves down to 10 men. That is absolutely Fantastic stuff. The free kick is going to be a highlight. Bruno Costa takes a fantastic save by the Forest goalkeeper. And suddenly, we have the advantage. 15 minutes to go in this match. We will look to make a change. Um, who's not performed? Cameron McGain's not having the greatest game. Kenny Dugall. I didn't actually mention him. He's um, a central midfielder. He's very, very talented. But he's injured at the beginning of the game. So he's only just returning. And we'll get him some game time and improve his fitness. And this throw-in has led to a Nottingham Forest chance. How about that? SS Garcia, whoever that is, gets dispossessed eventually. And can we counter from this position? Wilkes picks it up. Cavaria on this right-hand side. We haven't got very men forward, so hopefully we start bombing forward with a bit more pace. As Bruno Costa goes into the box, he gets his second goal of the season, puts us 2-1 up with only 15 minutes remaining. Absolutely fantastic. We could really do with these three points. Cavaria doing well down that right-hand side. Um, playing the ball into Bruno Costa, who I think rides a challenge here. Fortunately, gets past his man, but he absolutely buries that finish. Second goal of the season, 2-1. Let's see this game out. Let's go cautious. Another highlight, though, it's a free kick. Bruno Costa plays it in. Dugal goes close with a header. With only a few minutes remaining, we will look to make our further changes. Uh, Cavaria has had a decent game and come off for Jordan Williams. And Ben Williams can come off for Pelinios. Penilos. 
at left back. Ball's played in for Forrest Robinson's out with the header. Hits the top of the woodwork. They will be going for this now. But the time is ticking away. We get a vital, vital away win. Nottingham Forest 1, Barnsley 2. Maybe wasn't as deserving of a three points there. But we've dropped points where we probably should have won. So we will take that to the bank. And after those two games against Leeds and Forest, we currently find ourselves sitting in ninth position. Only one point out of the uh, playoff spot. And no team is really running away with this right now. So you never know if we have a really surprise season. Playoffs could be an opportunity. But again, our objective is just to avoid relegation. And with that in mind, I think we'll jump ahead a little bit. Ahead into November, have back-to-back -back home games where we have good opportunities and maybe picking up three points. Bristol City and Stoke will be where we return. So I will see you then. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.